In ancient times, there was often no difference between an adopted child and a natural born one. An adopted child received all the rights and privileges of a biological child. That's the meaning in the Bible. We have a special relationship as an adopted child of God. When the Bible uses the term sons, it often means children in our modern language, unless the context shows that only males are meant. Ancient languages had less vocabulary and often no gender neutral words, like children. So we need to understand that the word sons is a literal translation of an ancient language and sometimes really means children. Sons may also be an appropriate translation when we understand Old Covenant inheritance laws. Under normal circumstances, the sons inherited the land because daughters shared their husband's land. There were exceptions for the sake of justice. Because of this, the picture of male and female Christians having the inheritance of sons is also appropriate. The Bible's filled with the blessings of our adoption by God. What makes us God's children? For you're all children of God through faith in Christ Jesus. Does God adequately provide for and love his true children? Look at the birds of the air, for they neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Now if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, won't he much more clothe you, O you of little faith? But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Did God plan long ago to adopt children? He predestined us to adoption as sons through Christ Jesus to himself, according to the kind intention of his will. Do we imitate God? Do as God does. After all, you are his dear children. Does that mean we're to be holy? Just as he who called you is holy, so be holy in all you do. For it's written, be holy because I am holy. Does God lovingly correct his children? Be patient when you're being corrected. This is how God treats his children. Don't all parents correct their children? God corrects all of his children. And if he doesn't correct you, then you don't really belong to him. How do we know if we're children of God? For all who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. Are we to be fearful slaves in religious bondage or God's own children? The spirit you receive doesn't make you slaves so that you live in fear again. Rather, the spirit you received brought about your adoption to sonship. And by him we cry, Abba, Father. The spirit himself testifies with our spirit that we are God's children. Does God generously include us as heirs? So you're no longer a slave, but God's child. And since you're his child, God's made you also an heir. Are we joint heirs with Christ, even if we sometimes must suffer with Christ? And if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ, if indeed we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. What a wonderful inheritance God has in store for us. We become his children through faith in Jesus Christ and become heirs with him. Will you choose temporary suffering followed by glory in God's eternal kingdom or this world's temporary thrills followed by hell? You decide. Music